I uh, specialize in surgery, but I think one of the things that um, patients often find when they come to talk to me is that I am, I am there to give them information about options that include surgery, but also non-operative management of injuries. And so first time, the first time that a patient sees me, I'm really um, teaching them a lot about what their surgical options could be, but we want to make sure that we've exhausted all non-operative uh, management as well. And, and I prefer to do that. If I can get a patient through an injury without surgery, that's my preference. I decided to do two separate one-year subspecialty fellowship training years. Um, and I think that that has given me the opportunity to really hone in on uh, sports medicine and hip preservation uh, to fully understand who is indicated for which type of surgery and to have the exposure to thousands of cases of these specific procedures. So, um, and I've learned from some of the world's experts in these areas. Making the decision to uh, operate on a patient um, you know, has to take into consideration that they will be going through a long recovery process in some cases. And um, we have to know that, that doing the surgery is to their benefit despite the uh, trials of, of healing from surgery. And um, I think when they come back to me, you know, that first visit after surgery and everything um, feels better than it did before, uh, that they're doing well, that they're progressing well, um, is, is incredibly rewarding. And, um, and you know, I look forward to it every time I see them after surgery.